Well, guys, welcome back to another episode on the Fox Shop. What a cruddy day we're having today. It is, uh, it's been raining off and on all afternoon. Not extremely heavy, although they say later on tonight we could get some uh, pretty heavy rain. And earlier today, anyway, I haven't looked lately, but earlier they were talking about nasty weather. Could get up to, I think they were saying three inches of rain, could also get um, high wind, hail. Said there's a chance of tornadoes, although they said the chance of tornadoes is slim because of lack of surface heating today or something like that. Sun hasn't been out. It is fairly, it is fairly warm out right now, probably upper 70s, something like that, but uh, it's, it's wet, very wet. So anyway guys, get back in the shop here. And I actually just came back down from the house, got out of the shower a little bit ago. I went up and took a really hot shower. Just haven't been feeling all that good. And I thought it might help, which, which it did. I'm, I'm feeling a lot better now than I did, let's say, a couple hours ago. But still not 100%. So anyway, wanted to come down and get to work on this tailgate again. And using this new, well, new to me camera. It's a new old camera. It, uh, it's a Hero 4 instead of the 5 that I've been using. I showed that on that little quick update thing I did last night. And so I actually went a step backwards, but been people saying on the Hero 5 they're having a lot of issues with sound and that kind of thing. And I know on the 5, like whenever I turn the camera, if I move my hand at all like, like this, it would pick it up really, really bad. I had to be real careful if I was ever moving the camera around or anything because it would make a heck of a racket it'd travel up into that camera and there's I just couldn't I couldn't fix the darn thing so I'm gonna try this one out and uh, if it's better I will continue using it if not I may uh, may look into something different like maybe the Hero 7 I use GoPros I use GoPros because they're relatively cheap the Hero 4 is what James and Kyle use and uh, you can pick them up pretty cheap. Got this one from a guy on eBay, and he said anyway that it had only been used three times, and I believe it, it, uh, it looks like brand new. The battery looks like brand new. The little, the little tab thing on the battery. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, here's one of my batteries. And you can see, and you can see how the tab is all, that's all kind of curled up. They get all bunched up. I can't hardly pull the things in and out of the camera sometimes. But uh, the one on the camera that I'm recording with, it looks like brand new. It's just perfectly straight and flat. So I don't think it's been used. I believe him when he said it's only been used three times. But anyway, I need to get going on the tailgate here. I need, there's a nasty dent right, right here. And it goes, it, up in here is fine, but it does go a little bit. I can feel it down, down on that body line and even a little past the body line. So I'm gonna get some filler, some body filler, start filling that in, sanding it down. And then when I get, that's the last thing I have to do on this tailgate. I did this last night, turned out pretty good. And I think I've got all the other spots fixed up. So once I get that done, I'm gonna clean it all off, gonna flip it over and put it out. And put it out here on the saw horses, upside down, and a primer and paint the inside of it. Need to do that before I get her up on the Bronco. Flip it over upside down, clean all this off, and you know, get this painted and the backside painted. And then I can get it on the Bronco and uh, get primer on the whole Bronco. I'm still wanting to get this thing primer before harvest. The beans out here around my house, which I believe are the earliest beans we have, they are really turning quick. I think by the end of this coming week, we're gonna be combining beans. So if it happens, it happens. If not, if not, surely there will be a couple of days after harvest that I can at least get primer on the Bronco, if not completely paint the thing. So anyway guys, I'm gonna mix up some body filler, get it put on that tailgate. Don't have much of that left, but uh, should be enough to do that. I need to, I need to clean this off. 
Alright, grab a little bit of this out of here. We are down at the bottom of the can. That should be enough. Enough for the first go around anyway. I gotta get some more of this. Hardener, hardener, hardener. Where's my hardener? This tube is almost empty. Not putting a whole lot in it. Maybe I can work it a little bit longer. I really like this spreader. It's narrower than uh, a lot of them that I get. But and I know cardboard is not the thing you're supposed to use. I know. It's all I've got at the moment. I used to have some of those tear-off sheets on like a clipboard thing and ran out of them. But for this little job, this will work. I'm gonna finish mixing this up. We'll get it put on. Had a real quick camera set up here. Wasn't really prepared. Got this setting up on me. Well, that might be good right there. For the first go around, I think that will work. Probably gonna take two or three, two or three slatherings of this on there. All right, guys, I have probably layered this up seven or eight times. I think this might be the last one. And to be honest with you, I am getting wiped out. Went up to the house a little bit ago. Wife just got home from work a little bit ago. Daughter has a friend over. I'm not feeling very good still. And I don't know. I, I may sand this down and hope for the best. I don't I don't know guys. I, it's, it's killing me right now. I'm I'm getting tired. But anyway, hopefully get this done. And we can get the get the inside of the uh, tailgate painted and get ready to go up here on the Bronco. I just talked to James and Kyle a little bit ago. They sent me some pictures. They've got Kyle's truck that we painted when I was out there in Oregon. They got it out in the sunlight a little while ago. Looks pretty good. I guess there is a little bit of uh, tiger striping on the hood, which I, I, I don't know how to avoid that, especially with some metallic in the paint. I'm not a paint expert. If anybody has some suggestions on that, drop them down in the comments because I've fought with that before and I just don't really know. I, I did everything I could to avoid that and it still happened, especially with that color. That's a, I think that's a tough color to paint. But overall, I, the pictures they sent me and their opinion on it, it, it looked pretty darn good out in the sunlight. And I think they're making a video on that. I'm not sure if that's gonna be up today, Sunday. Um, not sure if that's gonna be up today or not, but I know they're making one and should be up soon. Really wish that James or James and Kyle or Kyle or somebody could have come out here this weekend. I'm just, uh, I tell you guys, I'm still, I'm, I'm wearing out real quick here tonight and, uh, and doing this tailgate. I think I've about got it. Really, it's, it's ready to get primered and then it could get painted. I just need to get this stupid tailgate up on there. As far as the bad weather goes tonight, we really haven't had any bad weather. They were saying we were supposed to have some severe storms and lots of rain and oh, hail and wind and possibly even tornadoes. But uh, so far, well, you can't see anything, but so far it has failed to produce anything. They're saying tomorrow we could get some weather, but they seem like they're always saying that and nothing ever happens. One of these days it will. One of these days it will. One thing I would like to do over the winter and before I put this girl in the shop, it really needs a bath. She is dirty. But uh, one thing I'd like to do over the winter 
well, two things I'd like to do. First, I would like to put at least, you know, four, what, 411 gears, 410, 411 gears in this truck. With the 35 inch tires, the 356 gears that she has in her, um, uh, little, little too much. I'd like to get, uh, I don't know, either 411, 430. Some people have even said 456. I think that might be a little too much, but I'd like to do that. And also, I'm thinking about doing a uh, solid axle swap on the front. Get me a straight axle on the front of this girl. That's a couple of things I'd like to do. Also, that spot, you know, the spot over here on this side. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it now. Now, oh, right down in here. Yeah, you can't see it. It's too dark. But anyway, that bad spot down there, I need to attend to that, get that taken care of. And I'd like to do that this winter. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna call it night. I'm gonna go up to the house. I'm gonna come down here in the morning, get that sanded down. I'm gonna get this video up in the morning, I believe as well. And uh, that's where we stand on that. Right now, I'm just, I know, I know, I'm just, I'm in a bad, I'm in a bad mood right now. I'm just not, eh, I'm just not. Anyway, guys, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. We got some good stuff coming up just right now. I'm in a funk, so uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.